It's a Black Ops. You see it. Let's get it. <clears throat> Morgan Stanley data breach. $35 million fines <laughs> for hard drives. They gave away some PCs and they didn't erase the hard drives. When the people uh, fired up those PCs, they could see uh, data from Morgan and Stanley's clients. So they got a $35 million fine. So you got to be careful, especially from a security analyst point and compliance. All right, you got to make sure you <laughs> erase those hard drives. Once again, super quick article. Let's get it. Astonishing Morgan Stanley hard drives holding sensitive client data got auctioned off online. Federal regulators accused Morgan Stanley on Tuesday of an astonishing failure that led to mishandling of sensitive data on some of million customers, sensitive data on some 15 million customers. Morgan Stanley was slapped with a $35 million fine from the Security and Exchange Commission for extensive failure to safeguard personal identifiable information on its clients. Since at least 2015, Morgan Stanley did not properly get rid of devices holding sensitive customer data, according to the settlement. Wow, that's from 2015. Was that seven years ago? In one episode described by the SEC, Morgan Stanley hired a moving company, one that had no experience or expertise in data destruction, to decommission thousands of hard drives and servers holding customer data. The, that moving company later sold thousands of Stanley devices, some of which contained personal identifiable information to a third party. Those devices were eventually resold to an internet option site without the removal of sensitive data, according to the settlement. According to Morgan, Stanley was able to recover some of the devices, which can, contained thousands of pieces of unencrypted customer data. The firm was not the firm has not recovered the vast majority of devices, according to the settlement. Morgan Stanley failure in this case are astonishing. Director of the SEC Enforcement Division said in a statement, if not properly safeguarded, this sensitive information can end up in the wrong hands and have disaster consequences for investors. Beyond the service and hard drive, the SEC found that Morgan Stanley failed to safeguard customer data and properly dispose of consumer report information in other ways, including when the firm shut down local offices and branch servers. The settlement said that Morgan Stanley Review found that 42 servers all potentially contained unencrypted data and consumer information was missing. Morgan Stanley agreed to pay the fine without many or denying findings in the settlement. <laughs> so we need to stop letting people pay fines and not, and not admit that they did something wrong. Basic security analyst says, especially I do a lot of IRS work, you actually have to get the uh, company to drill <laughs> uh, holes in the hard drive and give you an attestation stating this was the server number, this was the disk, and these are these are the holes we drilled in it, right? They actually give you a statement <laughs> that attesting that they did that work. We previously notified applicable clients regarding these matters, which occurred several years ago, have not detected any unauthorized access or misuse of personal information, Mark Lynn Stanley said in a statement. So that's it. But once again, Morgan Stanley data breach, $35 million fine, just because they sold uh, PCs and didn't erase the hard drive, right? We need to do basic cyber hygiene. Once again, Professor Black Ops, please subscribe.